Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. In the last episode, we kind of got started on Isla Pena here. We got our T-Rex, and we've got a storm warning. You're right in the shelters. So... Yeah, we got our T-Rex, we're doing our expeditions, we're doing our first contracts. I made some slightly bad des there there. This is Isla Pena. Unfortunately, the ranger team is over here, refilling the, um, yeah, get in the shelters, it's a freaking tornado. As I said, made a bit of a mistake building an extra power plant when I really didn't need to, caused us some financial issues. But so far, we should be okay as long as I don't have to keep repairing tons of damage. And hopefully that, uh, twister over there doesn't, um, any more damage than it already has. Fortunately, it should miss the rest of my facilities. It's probably a bad idea to take the helicopter off right about now. And I can't afford to run any actual expeditions anyway, so... Okay, storm's over. Uh, is our um, T-Rex cranky? Our T-Rex is slightly cranky. Can you repair that, please? <sighs> See, the thing is, fortunately, that's the fence that it broke. Because it can't really do anything else from there. And we don't have enough um, shelter coverage. Disease contracted. All right, I'll get to it. I got a broken fence I gotta fix. Is he trying to break another piece of the fence? Stop it! Get out of there. There we go. Stop trying to break the fence. Alright, now we gotta go medicate the dino. Now we got two that are sick. Now I do have a door I can use to get in there, right? Did I not put a door in? I didn't put a door in. Okay. Well, let's get a door in then. Good idea. 
Oh, well, this will give me something to do while I let the money build back up a little bit. And hopefully T-Rex is going to calm down. Okay, it's so our two Draco Rex over there that are a bit sick. Come on. Come on. Proceed to your nearest shelter. Warning. Ranger vehicle under attack. I don't care. As long as you get medi medicated. Oh boy. That is something I definitely do not need right about now. Oh, oh, the di the they okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. T Rex is okay. Close the shelters. Okay, can I run an expedition? One expedition. Can I can I go anywhere? There, I can go there. Okay. Cause that should also get me this reward from that contract. I need to get um, the island up to one star rating. Poor satisfaction, poor variety. Yeah, 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 I know. Um, I don't have enough power. There's, there's a slight issue. I also need some actual, like, guest facilities, like, at least, you know, a fast food restaurant or something. That didn't quite put that where I expected it to. There we go. Okay. There we go. Expedition complete. Now, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to get that fast food restaurant going. This one a success, don't you? Well done. Well done indeed. Should I put it over here? Okay, let's get that going. All right, let's see what we got back on from our uh, expedition. That doesn't really help me at all. I mean, it's nice that I got the genome, but, um... Let's request on a contract. Maybe I can get something good and easy. I've looked this gig over. You should too. <laughs> no. No. That is not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be able to sell three Dreadnought specimens. Are you kidding me?
I'm actually heading there because I have more complete genomes there. If I bring back some fossils and some stuff that I already have finished, I can sell them. For some cash. We're strapped for cash. Right now. You. Are you making any money? A little bit. There we go. A thousand dollars per minute. That's gonna help. That is actually going to help. Uh, another expedition. Get out there. Okay, go. Uh, when can I request a contract? Less than a minute. All right. I also gotta keep those feeders filled. Are there any other cheap places I can expedition? You. Go. need is the improved power plant because right now all right what do we get what do we get we got some stuff I can sell excellent okay that, there we go let's go ahead and get some outage protection and some improved output here. There we go. More of that. I don't necessarily need that. What I do need, I think, is going to be... Some dig yield. Don't necessarily need dig speed. Okay, this needs to be changed. Let's see, outage protection one provides 10%. Improved output two, 5% risk, 10% risk. Okay. This opportunity is successfully incubated dinosaur. Okay. I could successfully incubate a dinosaur. Let's see. It's going to yield me 100k. Can I incubate something that's cost less than 100k? Oh, I absolutely could. Uh, let's see. Edmontosaurus is still expensive. Gallimimus. Struthiomimus. I can incubate a Struthiomimus. I have a Gallimimus. St a Struthi will actually increase the income a little tiny bit. But primarily, that is what I'm after right there. Storm Defense Station coverage. That's probably something I really do need to work on. Um, let's see, if I went to Outage Protection 3, okay, how much improved output could I get out of here? Okay. Way to go! All 
Alright, I don't really care about a uh, Struthiomimus, because we've seen those many times. Alright, let's keep these expeditions going. And I want to send them to places where I got lots of 100 percents. There, there, and there. There's still some st new stuff that I could get, but I w could really use some of those extra fossils um, for stuff that I already have. Okay, storm defense station coverage. Can't even afford one. Okay, no problem. How much does an extra one of those cost? 135,000. Okay. We could really use one over there. Because right now we can only really see half of this enclosure. Okay, don't let this go to your head, but that was some very impressive work on that contract. Somehow I managed to maintain an island rating of one. Th oh. Interesting. Indominus Rex genome. Nowhere near ready for that yet. Medical treatment. Really need to get that researched. Protecting our guests is, of course, our first priority. But our second priority is continuing to improve our security profile. And this new contract could help us do that. So it's important that you consider it. He wants a bowling alley. All right, fine. Smart expansion, what we should be about. Creating a world that is complementary to the needs of the dinosaurs. Alright, storm defense station. Let's get one over there. What do we got? All right, stuff we can sell. Excellent. Uh, more stuff we can extract. Stuff I can sell. Excellent. Pachycephalosaurus. All right, headway. Okay, so we've got 40% storm defense station coverage. Need to get a storm defense station over here. Somewhere. Let's see, what if I were to put that kind of like right up against there? This other viewing gallery. Oh, that that feeder is too close. I want to sacrifice the feeder for a second. Obstructed by what? Alright, 
Let's get our, our goat feeder back in there. All right, good. All right, what we got? Stuff I can sell. Excellent. More stuff I can sell. Okay. Now, are there any kind of low maintenance herbivores that I can I can throw in here? And something new would also be nice. Chunkingosaurus in any of the enclosures? I think I probably have. I don't really know what your needs are. Let's go ahead and incubate one. You can afford it. Let's do it. And let's uh, let's see what it wants. I don't think they'd offer this contract to just anyone. So it Prevent any power outages for ten continuous minutes. I should be able to do that. So long as they don't get another storm. Alright. Um, let's see. Expeditions. Keep them coming. Let's see. Research. Medical research. Hundred and fifty thousand per minute. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. Poor satisfaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably need to get a um fast food place over here. No power. Really? And I've got the best output that I can get out of that. Alright, I can sell that. Fence broken. Task. 
Why did you break the fence? I really can't afford any insurance payments right about now. Okay, it's tranked. Uh, do I need actually? While that guy is tranked. Can I make this enclosure slightly larger? I think that's part of the problem, is that the enclosure is just not big enough. Okay. Oh, well that was close. Collecting asset. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for any Experienced during our recent handling of anonymous events. All right, let's get this stuff sold. All right, let's get that power plant built. Medium power station. Can I squeeze one in here? No, not on this hill. This hill is basically a waste of space. Asset being transported. All right, but we can build one over here. Okay, you're ready to release Notosaurus. Let's see what we've got. Notosaurus. The name means knobbed lizard. It's a tough dinosaur. I guess you would be too with that name. <laughs> All right. It does not like too much population in its enclosure, which is going to be slightly an issue. Like we're already almost too crowded in there for it. Probably try and get another enclosure over here. Back here. So I might end up moving the Notosaurus to its own enclosure at some point. Okay. Build, connect, and power a bowling alley. Let's see. Can I. 
do anything about this hill. Trying to reclaim some of that space. Spending money I don't really have, but all right, that's about as much space as I'm going to get. All right, let's see. Um, running those expeditions. They're our primary source of income right now. A bowling alley? I think I can probably fit it. Except that power pole's in the way. Okay then. I should probably go make sure the T-Rex is okay. Before it tries to break out again. But let's get, at least get this bowling alley installed. And then... Um, we'll see how we're going. So I think we were like too close to the edge of that grassland requirement. Which was making it uncomfortable. Alright. Um, I am going to need to tell my rangers to re resupply that feeder. That contract is done and done. Nice work. So now we have improved power output three. Outage protection you three gives. And accomplish the objectives of that contract. For that, you have my thanks. Okay. Fossils. Yeah, yeah, we're one hundred percent on that. Okay. Now, are you considered a large carnivore or a small one? We need at least three of those. We can do one of these, Stalophosaurus. Alright, we'll go ahead and put that in with the T-Rex. Alright, but we are at the end of the episode, so we'll go ahead and stop here. Oh, let me just 
get these guys set up. Okay, so yeah, we'll go ahead and stop here. And then we'll see if we can continue our work here. Try and continue to push that science rep, I guess. And then we'll get that science mission going. And then we'll see how things go. All right, but for now, we'll stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.